Until dentistry comes with something better, composite resin is still our material of choice to restore for small cavities and to replace small amalgam fillings. Uh, one of the advantages of composite resin is that it's a one visit procedure and it's um, pretty economic uh, when it comes to the cost factor. Some other options out there um, are the porcelain uh, restorations or ceramic restorations and also the gold restorations. Very nice options, um, uh, especially when it comes to big, bigger size restoration. One of the disadvantages of it is they're a little bit more pricey when it comes to you know, involving the lab and uh, requiring multi-visit uh, to get them accomplished. Uh, don't miss watching uh, our other video where we did an interview with Mr. Billington. Uh, he tells us a lot about mercury itself and the mercury mining here in California. Uh, we learned a lot from him and we would like to share the, that information with you. And also don't miss watching our other video where we um, demonstrate a safe removal of an amalgam filling uh, where we would take extra precautions for more sensitive individuals. Um, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Hi Jesse. Hi Dr. Hi Abdul. So we are removing uh, an amalgam filling for Abdul. Jessica is placing the rubber down. Amalgam contains 50% mercury and 50% metal alloy. Examples of that will be silver, zinc, copper, and tin. Removing uh, old amalgam fillings causes the release of higher levels of mercury vapor. Composite resin, it does have uh, two major ingredients, uh, the resin matrix and the resin filler. The resin matrix, it does have uh, off products of BPA and the resin filler is normally silica, uh, zirconia, um, uh, glass and quartz. Uh, very small little particulates uh, that exist in that in that filler. There is a coupling agent that allows the the filler to bond with the resin matrix, and there are pigments that gives it that tooth matching color. <laughs>